Nigel, how does your herd uh, differentiate itself from everyone else in the industry? Um, ben, we've gone out every year since we started looking for bulls that appealed, um, visually came from studs that had a respected history. We sourced genetics um, in the beginning from Narangi, uh, Narangullen, Glengowan and Millamurra for our females. We went back. We've just taken a different route to get there by buying sons or grandsons of these bulls that have been proved in our environment rather than in the Northern Hemisphere environment. That's helped us to keep slowly building the scale of the animals, not jumping around too much, to the point now, 20 years on, where scale is not the issue anymore. And we do, we believe we've been able to retain the true Angus characteristics of carcass, yield and quality on a larger frame by starting where we did with those females from some of what are now the great herds in Australia. Mate, tell me, there couldn't be too many stud breeders in the industry that's been as successful as you in your career of steers with steer trials and shows. Can you tell us a bit about your success in the in steer trials? Um, we've been competing in carcass competitions for 30 years and we've used it to really help us fine tune our breeding program. Uh, we've used uh, EBVs and carcass data um, constantly over the 20 years and we have found that that has led us to the top of the tree in these competitions as well because we have used the information we've got constructively gone out selecting for things that we knew were exposed as weaknesses and three years ago we were we were lucky enough to win the heavyweight component of the National Field Days trial overall. I believe that's the first time that a purebred Angus team's ever achieved that success. They had achieved it in the lightweight section prior but never in the heavyweight section. So. The, the figures don't make them good animals um, and I really, that's where we do differ. I believe that I am a, an animal husband. I believe I know how to handle animals and I believe that I can breed a superior animal and it's not figures that makes that happen it's actually a far more natural sort of process